Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stendhal with tonight's Deep Dive. It is October 11, 2018. We're going to take a look at uh, lean hogs here today. Uh, the ETF being HOGS. Uh, trend is to the upside, even though things are beginning to wane a little bit. The technicals are still looking positive, but uh, you'll see from our systems having unwound uh, one of our major long positions. I don't think this is going to last too much longer. Uh, let's just simply uh, go through and take a look at a few more of these things. Nothing really popping up here in the um, the uh, the pro alerts on a daily bar basis and on a weekly bar basis we actually had a low four weeks ago uh, but we're not showing anything to actually um, show that the the market is unwinding right now this according to those things that are popping up here but things did pop up a little while ago and so if we actually take a look at the chart here uh, we'll just get a feel for what's uh, taking place here uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, the, uh, the pro alerts from a couple of days ago, if I can grab it here. Uh, so here it is uh, where we have the, um, the uh, stretch high that triggered uh, a number of days ago. It's not even showing up on the list, but uh, generally when we get this thing, it's a foregone conclusion that the market really wants to top out and it may take a little while for the, the market to recognize it, but it did today. So here's what we're looking at uh, where the market has had this uh, four week rally. Well, it's actually a bit longer than that. All of September, uh, it rallied to, to a peak and then in October, it started to just sell off here. Now, if you look at this support resistance level, this uh, Scion, this uh, kind of bluish uh, color here, light blue. If we uh, go all the way across here to today's action, uh, what you'll see is that we just broke below it. So we were above it, we stayed above it, we tested it, but with today's action, uh, we actually started to break below it on a closing bar basis. And so that kind of uh, worries me a little bit that, that the market could really start to, uh, to sell off here. If we uh, take a closer look at uh, the back to the website, what we'll do is we'll take a look at the, the seasonal tendencies here and just realize that the the market itself, this being lean hogs, this is a 10 year chart on a seasonal. The general trend is to the downside until you get into uh, early November, you know, the first week or 10 days of November. So it's not dramatic, but it is something that kind of meanders to the downside. If we take a look at a 10, a 15, and a five, and so a shorter term, you can see that uh, this being mid-October right now, uh, that uh, the trend is to the downside in all of the different time frames. What I set up here is the uh, the seasonal depth. Seasonal depth looks at the five, the 10, the 15, and 20 year seasonal charts, and it looks at a correlation of those different time frames against the individual market. Uh, the 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 current year and what it's doing is that the the higher the correlations between all of the different time frames the the stronger the depth the uh, the more realistic it is no matter what time frame you look at so lean hogs is one of the top markets it is the top market uh, of all the markets we look at when you look at all the different time frames so typically uh, we're going to want to watch this particular market. Now, again, we said that it's kind of getting into mid-October. Really just have uh, another three, maybe four weeks or so-ish uh, before we have our next bounce. And so what we're doing is, um, or at least what the systems are doing, is they are playing it safe here and having unwound one of our positions here today. So uh, we had a nice trade here in the Aldebaran system, which liquidated on the close. This is on daily bars. And so from, from that perspective, usually what we see is that uh, there's always a little bit of a rally after we liquidate our long position. 
but then the market has a tendency to fall a little bit further, and I think the seasonal charts will bear that out. But uh, we're we're taking the money while we can with the the system, and uh, we're not going to uh, to really uh, complain about it. This was about a three thousand dollar profit per contract, so it did pretty well in the trade in itself. Now, as far as where we stand right now with the positions in uh, Lean Hogs, uh, we are in this year case um, we're short. Uh, two positions right now. So we only have two positions out there and they're both short. The one position, or actually two positions that we liquidated today, that Aldebaran Daily, which I just looked at, and the Vega 90, which was uh, also liquidated uh, <clears throat> midday or so. This particular one lost around 400. This one over here uh, gained around 3,100. So net net 2,600 and change uh, as far as what we were able to take out of the market here today, at least in hogs. And as I mentioned, <clears throat> we are short the market with the other two contracts or the other two uh, systems, Betelgeuse 90 and the Rigel 60. And so we'll just sort of see how things kind of play out here with the, the market starting to uh, potentially uh, sell off a little bit further. Coming back to the chart here, uh, I, I would suspect a little bit of volatility, maybe even a little bit of a bounce, but a little bit of a sell off. In fact, uh, the easiest way to look at this is going back to the seasonal chart and just simply looking at the volatility that uh, we're in the midst of right now, but still slowly uh, looking at the 5, the 10, the 15, all pointed to the downside. So I think our next big opportunity is going to be coming up in November. And until then, uh, we're just going to trade things, at least as of right now, on the short side of the, the market. So we'll see how things kind of play out here. Um, I know a lot of you probably don't trade lean hogs, but it's actually... A really good market to trade. Uh, I, I can't say that it's easy, easy, uh, because there are, are some markets that are super hard to trade. Lean hogs <clears throat> is one of the uh, the markets that is on the higher list as far as its grading, its uh, acceptance to systematic trading because of the cons the uh, consistency that we actually see in the market, uh, not only in the seasonals but just consistency across the board. And so that being the case. Uh, We'll uh, see how things kind of play out here and uh, see us run up. The, the market is able to uh, continue to uh, sell off in a, in a nice orderly fashion and uh, be able to take advantage of that as opposed to what we've been seeing as of late with the, uh, the S&P 500, <clears throat> which did come down to support today. And uh, we're going to see us run up. <clears throat> we can actually uh, take some money out of this market. So thanks very much for watching, and we will take a look at another market tomorrow. Bye-bye.